I would say data, innovation, and governance. When, when we talk of data, availability and accessibility of uh, supply chain data is, is a game changer. If you have the necessary uh, data and you could basically reduce your supply chain uncertainty uh, tremendously. It means that uh, you can reduce the amount of inventory you can, you're gonna hold at different level of uh, the supply chain, which means in turn that you are reducing you know, the budget required to, to hold many or uh, uh, many amount of uh, inventory and, and, and those resources could be, could be used in, in, in different uh, places. So data availability and accessibility uh, uh, is really critical. It's, the second one uh, is innovation. I and mean, currently we have seen, we have seen due, due to COVID that the regular supply chain is not really responding to the demand. So uh, we need to bring innovation to, to uh, our supply chain. We need to address the request for agility, for flexibility, so that the, you, our supply chain is flexible enough to respond to, to, to pandemic like, like COVID or even natural disasters. The last one, which I think uh, uh, I, I, I see it as a foundation is the governance. Uh, uh, for everything about supply chain. It says it's policy standard uh, roles, clarified roles and responsibilities among the key, key players. Um, it, 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 it brings accountability in the system. Good supply chain governance enables the supply chain to function uh, properly. So data, innovation, and governance are really three primary components I would, I would fix uh, uh, to, to have a better supply chain in any country. Um, one of the challenges, the biggest challenge I would say is the lack of uh, operational capability and infrastructure inadequacy in, in, in multiple countries in, in deploying COVID vaccine uh, countries who are trying to use, you know, the existing uh, immunization infrastructure, but it requires more than that and trying to accommodate extra requirements. The best approach in, in, in some of countries, uh, the countries that we, uh, uh, we used, we, uh, uh, which is applicable is leveraging the private sector capability. Uh, for example, in, in, in the Philippines, the private sector quickly stepped in and helped in, in the custom clearance, warehousing and distribution of uh, 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 vaccine commodity the vaccination site. MSH was able to uh, support government to uh, uh, define specifications uh, for, 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 for engaging the private sector, developing monitoring tools, including key performance uh, indicators. Um, also in, in, in Ukraine, for example, the same, the same thing. We, supported the government in, in developing uh, requirements to engage in the private sector so that we leverage the capabilities in, in the country. We cannot really, really underestimate all of private sectors uh, uh, that, that they can play in supporting the public health supply chain. They, most of them, they have the core competency and the infrastructure that you wouldn't find in the public sector. So outsourcing those functions to the, the private sector where they have the real competency uh, is uh, really critical. So the government actually, the public can benefit a lot in bringing you know, private sector into, into, uh, into the supply chain. The case from the Philippines, as I said, and Ukraine is a pretty good example on how you know, important the private sector could be we provided the opportunity. Secondly, which is important equally, it relieves the burden of the government from labor intensive logistics operations. So private sector not only ensures that products will be available without interruption, brings efficiency and technology, but also it relieves the burden from the government so that uh, the public sector will focus on, 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 
on uh, uh, majorly on health outcomes. Digitalization of the supply chain is so important for various factors. They are managing more than 1,000 one, 1, uh, products, and it's not really possible to manage those products manually, effectively, and efficiently. Digitization enhances data visibility, accessibility, and overall visibility of the end to end uh, supply chain. Uh, digitization of the supply chain speeds up and facilitates exchanges between functions and various components of the supply chain and various locations where inventories are located. That's what a message has been doing in, in Bangladesh uh, by developing an electronic system, which has been used for many years. And actually it was reconfigured to, to respond to the COVID-19 emergency supply chain uh, very recently. And, and currently we are also introducing an end to end electronic logistics management information systems in, in the Philippines that's going to accommodate all commodities, including, including uh, COVID vaccines.